we must tell the people what happened in this era movie, man. <laughs> I just want to start off by saying I went and seen the era movie the first day it came out. You know, I just had to go. You know, the era movie was a brilliant think piece for me. Mm-hmm. And I want to say that you don't often see a movie that mainly takes place in one specific building <laughs> for basically the whole movie that's a great fucking movie. <laughs> so the movie mainly takes place in the Nike office, which is in Portland. For the people who don't know, the Nike office started in Portland. That's where they, it all originated. And the movie was fucking amazing. And I want to say to the people that if you're not a sneakerhead or if you're not into specific think pieces, then this is not for you. But if you're into things of that nature, then you're going to be pleasantly surprised. What is your take on the movie now? I'm actually going to tell the people, even if you're not into sneakers, even if you're not into the culture, go out and see it. It's history. Thanks. Michael Jordan is y'all all know who what who and what Nike is and it 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 will surprise you you will be surprised the cast is phenomenal but mm. everybody played their part and they played their part extremely well let's stay right let's stay right there on the cast now so we got Matt Damon we got <laughs> Ben Affleck we got Chris Tucker we got Marlon Wayans we got Viola Davis and the fucking names just keep going on <laughs> Bateman Jason Bateman. You got a lot of names. You got a lot of people who play important roles in this movie. And each one had a significant part in the movie. Like each person at some point played the shit out of their role. Right. Shout out to, it, shout out to Viola. I, I, I actually got such a respect for Viola Davis, just you know, her acting chops, but just this movie right here just took it over the top for me. Facts, and um, I want to say that um, no, people know of Michael Jordan, people know of Nike, very few people might even know Phil Knight, mm-hmm. but nobody knew who Sonny was. No, nobody knew who Sonny was, <laughs> right? Nobody and knew. he's the main person. Sonny was the main person. Sonny is, you can actually say Sonny is the reason why Nike is what Nike is today. Facts, <laughs> facts, and it's to Nike today. Facts. Sonny was Matt Damon's character. Oh, yeah, I got the names and stuff. <laughs> Matt Damon. But don't forget the two names that I just named, right. the Marlon Wayne's character and also Chris Rock, because if it wasn't for Sonny pulling up on Marlon Wayne's and Marlon Wayne's having an end right. with Mike, right. we would never seen Mike at Mike Knight. Right. We would have seen Mike at Adidas. So I, I just want to stay on on Sunny because there's a lot of times where people have ideas or people have visions, but you have to go full fledged Mm -hmm. into your vision and your thoughts. And then you have to, and not only do you have to believe it, now you got to get other motherfuckers to believe it. And then if they don't believe it, or even if they do believe it and you fail, you got to know that this is it for you. You done. That's true. He, yo, he did a lot. Like he didn't just bring Michael Jordan to Nike. He did a lot, which like what you see now, like the AAUs and right. yeah. Nike, the, the the shoe classics that you see, the Nike basketball classics and all that. He is the reason why that happened. Right. These are all his visions. All his visions. Shout out to Sonny Vicario, who, who 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 made Nike what Nike is to be. I appreciate right. that. For that so because- no, I want to I want to ask you. Did you know at that specific time that Nike was last? I did. <laughs> Fact. So it was Adidas, Converse, and then Nike was last. Yes. It wasn't even a Reebok. Right. <laughs> it, it was Adidas leading the pack. Converse at close second. And Nike a distant third. A distant third. And... This movie helped to um, uncover a lot. It helped to educate a lot in a lot of areas because you just didn't know. You you had you gotta respect you gotta respect Sonny. You gotta respect Sonny. And Sonny stood up to the the inventor of Nike, Phil Knight. Right. Said, oh, we're gonna do this. And yeah. you're gonna make this happen. And we don't make this happen. 
it's not going to be pretty good night. So so let's so let's break this down how this happens now. Mm-hmm. So Nike is a running shoe at this time. They're last on the totem pole. They have 250k to offer to three players. <laughs> they, they they have 250k to offer to three players. And then what happens next now? What does Sonny tell them to do? Kill yourself. <laughs> Basically kill yourself because those three players are trash. And the three players are actually Hall of Famers. <laughs> players by name. One being Charles Barkley. Facts. Two being um, John Stockton. Right. Who's a Hall of Famer. And the third person being a, an irrelevant player who actually right. did anything in his NBA career. He actually was out of the NBA within two years. Facts. They were going to spend their money on those three players. They even said Michael Jordan, Adidas. He they wasn't even courting him. And so Let, let's him. stay. Let's stay right there. So Michael Jordan, um, I see you in the chat, Marilyn, saying that somebody told you that Michael Jordan wasn't in the movie. No, the movie was not about Michael Jordan, but Michael Jordan was. His name is mentioned, and the movie is about the partnership between Nike and Michael Jordan. That's the basis of the whole movie. He was mentioned. Movie several times, like, Next. and he had the meeting with Nike. And yeah. you see the first Jordan shoe. That's how it all comes about. But you, it's not like a Michael Jordan movie. No, it's a Nike movie. The Nike movie. So, Sonny says, "Fuck that. <laughs> Let's spend all the money and go get Michael Jordan." And if people don't know, Michael Jordan was at North Carolina. He was ready to go to the league. They had won the championship. Michael Jordan loved Adidas. Because of Run DMC. This is what we try to tell y'all about nostalgia and knowing your history. The reason why he wanted to go to Adidas is because of a sweatsuit. Right. On it, Adidas sweatsuits. That's all. It was had nothing to do with nothing, but he thought the sweatsuits were cool. Right. So while Michael was at North Carolina, he used the team played in Converse's. Mm-hmm. But he would wear his Adidas every fucking day, and he would only put on his Converse's to play in their games. Mm-hmm. Even at practice, he would wear his Adidas. Yeah, that's how dedicated he was to the brand because of nostalgia. Just think, nowadays we'll see a brand that we fall in love with, and we only will rock that, and that's what it was for him. Facts. So as we go through the movie, Sonny has this bright idea to say, I have the vision that Michael Jordan is going to be bigger than Magic and Larry Bird, who are running the league. And they have a meeting with Converse. Yeah, it's Converse. They have a meeting with Converse. And Converse tells Michael Jordan and his family, we have Magic and Michael. I mean, Magic and Bird. Hold on. What's up? It's something very important. That most people would not do nowadays mm-hmm. before they even took before the Jordans even took the meeting with Adidas. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. He went to North Carolina and sat at the table with the parents. Facts. You're not allowed to go directly to the parents. You're supposed to go through the agent. But he said, fuck that. <laughs> I have this vision. And if I have to go sit with the parents, this is what I mean by he put it all on the line. He could have got fired for this one offense alone. Okay. He could have got fired for this. But he and still went down and met with Michael's mom. That's what you got to do when you got a dream, when you got a vision. You got to chase that shit. Even when somebody tell you not to. Mm-hmm. Even when somebody give you all the obstacles and put them all in front of you, you got to be able to clear them yourself when you believe in something. And he went to sit with Michael Jordan's mother and he told her, I'm going to tell you to play. Right. This is what Adidas is going to do. This is how they're going to look. Everybody will be dressed like this. Everybody will say this. Everybody will say that. And sure enough, when they went to go to Converse, everybody had on a red tie with Rolexes on. And they all said with the same thing. So, so we're going to say that um, before he, before when he went to go see Michael's mom, the reason why he went to go see Michael's mom is because of Chris Tucker's character who told him the way in is through the mamas. Through the mamas. Yeah. Through the mamas. Absolutely. Now, if we go to these meetings, the things that Sonny told Michael's mom, which got her to take the meeting with Nike, is Adidas is in array. The, the there's a whole family they argue 
nobody's going to be able to take the lead. And then this is what you're going to have to be dealing with while your son is at Adidas. And with Converse, the play was Magic and Bird is there. You're just going to be another person Mm -hmm. along that list. Absolutely. You come to Nike, we're going to make you the guy and give you your own shoe. No, nobody had a signature shoe. What the fuck are we talking about? (laughs) What happened? I'm like, he's crazy because no one has their own shoe. (laughs) We have a a roster of players that wear the same shoe, but no one has their own shoe with their own name and their own likeness. Thanks. Thanks. Not yet. So so this all comes about. We get to the Nike meeting, and Michael doesn't want to talk to anybody. (laughs) This is where Michael Jordan comes along, Marilyn. So Michael's at the meeting, but he's just not speaking to anybody because he doesn't give a fuck. He loves Adidas. Yeah, he already had in his mind Adidas was was the the major state in the meeting out of respect. And the the, the star of this whole thing is his mother, Mrs. Because Mrs. Jordan kept an open mind. Mrs. Jordan actually listened to Sonny when she said, hey, ask these questions. Because no one goes into these meetings asking questions. Go into the meetings and ask these questions, and you will see. They don't care about that, man. He's just another... He's just another body in their shoe. But we'll, we here at Nike do care about him. And, they, and how I can tell you that we care and they don't ask these questions. Right. And I like the fact that, when, especially when they went and met with Converse, and she asked, well, how is Michael going to stand out? And, and you know what the guy said? Stand out. He's between Michael. He's be, he's going to be on the Bird. roster of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Right. And she said, well, they're, they're one, they're two. Who's, is Michael Jordan supposed to be three or four? Because they had Dr. J as well. Right. So Magic, Bird, Dr. J. So Michael Jordan actually was going to be a fourth. Right. And she just wasn't trying to hit that. Facts. She said, um, my son is going to be better than... This is the vision, people. Vision. She said, my son, I believe that my son is going to do whatever he says he's going to do. And he's going to be bigger than these guys. So he's not number four. You need to fix your fucking list. <laughs> you need to fix your fucking list. And this is why we said, this is why when I said back at the early part of, the, of, of, of this dissertation, when I said, this movie is just not about basketball. It's not right. about sneakers. It's not about Michael Jordan. It's about actual believing in yourself. Be- somebody believing in you, yeah. people going the extra mile to make you see that you matter. Thanks. Because Sonny did all of this. He prepped her for meetings with people who were willing to give them any, almost anything that they wanted except exclusibility. And he was offering that at a place that no one cared about facts so now as we after we after the meeting or before the meeting when they have to create the jordan one they go see the mad scientists and what is the details in the color of the shoe why is this a problem because the nba does not want no more than 20 percent color the shoe has to be stark white with 20% 20% color, which only would have given Nike the opportunity to make the swoosh colored and everything else plain. Right. They didn't want that. It didn't look good. Right. So Phil Knight steps in and says, fuck that. <laughs> we'll pay the fines. You know what? Put more red in the fucking shoe. <laughs> no, see? Jason Bateman's character said, why don't we pay all the fines? Right. And they took it to Phil Knight. At the meeting when Michael Jordan was sitting there, his face was like, hmm. we ain't paying all the fines. <laughs> right. But that right there just goes to show when they believed, believed in something, they will go as far as they can go to make sure that Michael Jordan was comfortable and also his shoe was well represented. Well represented. Facts. And I appreciated that. Fact. So they 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 finally get everybody on board to agree to you know pay the fines, and then they have to talk to Michael's mom. They have to wait on Michael's mom to see you know if they're gonna accept the deal or not. They're gonna offer Michael the whole budget, 
not spread it out between three players. They're going to offer my and Michael wants a Mercedes Benz. Let's not forget that part. Okay. <laughs> Let's three. not forget that part. Michael specifically wanted a red, a cherry red Mercedes Benz along with his deal, included his deal package. Exactly. Then Mama Jordan calls once again and says, All right, we'll take the deal, but I got one little small thing. <laughs> I got one little small thing that I needed included in this deal. So you're telling me, say, two hundred and fifty thousand was in your own shoe wasn't enough? No, she said my son is my son is the next thing smoking. Like my son is the creator of all. My son is going to which this is what she said. My son is going to win MVPs. My son is going to win. This Michael's not in the NBA yet. People <laughs> hasn't played a game yet. <laughs> People are saying he's just a guard. He's not even the number one draft pick. Let's remind people. Michael Jordan is not the number one draft pick. Nope. He's slated to go number three. Huh. <laughs> so she tells them, I have this one small detail that I need y'all to put in the contract. And she says to Sonny, Sonny, I need you to tell them that we need a percentage of for every Michael Jordan sneaker sold. <laughs> <laughs> Not one. Not and who knew it would be all of these seasons? So just think, Mama Jordan is going into is at the at now calling Sonny saying, "Hey, we'll take the deal. We'll take the two hundred fifty thousand. We'll take the new car because he wants that. We'll take the Mercedes, but we need a percentage off of every shoe sold, not off of the first one hundred, not off of." Have we want a percentage off of everyone? Thanks. Think how big that is. Thanks. And her reasoning behind it was, you're going to get the best player ever right. to play this game. And Sonny, once again, the vision, people, the vision. He's going to be MVP. He's going to win multiple championships. He will be the scoring and defensive leader. Look, they I mean, told they they told Mama Jordan nobody can be the scoring leader and the defensive player of the year. <laughs> this is what they told. They said this is not never going to happen. They said we got two different people at that position. He can't be that Earl right. Monk and whoever else was at the time. He said that Mama Jordan said, "Trust me, he will." And Sonny said, "I can't. I don't think I can do it." But let me get back to you. Went to Phil Knight, and Phil Knight had to ponder. And if Phil Knight didn't make a decision that could would change the future of Nike, Nike wouldn't probably be in existence right now. Thanks. And he said, all right, give it to him. And now to this day, Michael Jordan has made billions of dollars off the likeness of himself. So when you see movies like this, see, right? When we don't want, when as we were growing up on video games, we didn't see Michael Jordan in the video games when we were playing. Right. And, and now we know why. Because if he's not benefiting off his likeness, he's not in the game. Right. And the movie, yes, it had to do about Nike and its culmination to, from this running company to now being a conglomerate in the sneaker world is because of one man's likeness. And that's how powerful women are. I want to say that. we, you, The two of us... <laughs> We get so much flack on Sundays because it seems like we we woman bash and we shame women or we have no admiration for women, but we have the utmost respect for women. We, we just want y'all to understand that y'all don't understand y'all own power. Yeah. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> this is how powerful and amazing women are. And not only women, but mothers, right? She realized that regardless of whatever her son was going to be great she knew that she knew her son was going to get a shoe deal she knew that but she recognized the beauty of who her her opportunity was to make sure that her son always had and he has down to this day she's a mother she's her, her power of being a mother and a woman is still stretching on and he is 60 something years old because she negotiated something for him that will be everlasting for the rest of that man's natural life and even beyond. Facts. And that's so, amazing. 
so she still runs the Michael Jordan Foundation till this day. <laughs> till this day. Michael Jordan is still alive. Well, till this day, she still runs the Michael Jordan Foundation. <laughs> Well, at the end on the credits, it says Michael Jordan reaps four hundred plus million dollars a year, not a lifetime, a year from the sale of these Jordan sneakers. Every Thanks. every year, Thanks. every year, every year, people. So, um, it was amazing. Man. Nike was- earns seven point five billion dollars a year from the Jordan brand. That's fucking insane. Nike. Thanks. And you also know what Nike did too? Nike said, Converse. Hey, come on over. Bro, come, on, come on over. <laughs> we now own you. Yes, come so on what? over. <laughs> Oh, some people don't like Nikes that much or whatever. When you slide on a pair of Converse, mm. you actually slide on a pair of Nikes because Nike owns Converse. Converse is a company of Nike. Okay. It's a subsidiary of Nike. So Nike is out here making moves and running things. <laughs> and you know who has you you know who y'all should think? I know a lot of people don't like it. They get flagged. That's why we was getting on Maryland earlier. But Michael Jordan single-handedly and he gets in and, and they say this but single-handedly saved nike and also how we consume sh- shoes and sneakers okay. just think you probably wouldn't be hearing about nike if it wasn't for michael jordan coming over and then the ingenuity of his power at that brand and just being able to continue to keep money coming in and refreshing the brand and making the brand big. Your favorite athletes are signed to Nike for a reason. But no, let's, let's remind the people that the major thing between Nike and Michael Jordan is Jordans are a basketball sneaker that you can casually wear. Even if you never play basketball. And that's what (laughs) Sunday. That's what Sonny and the design team wanted. They said, let's make this an everyday shoe. It's an everyday man. So let's make this a situation where you don't have to just wear it for playing basketball. You can wear this going out and wear it playing sports, or you can wear it just however you want to consume it. And that's what the beauty of it is. Facts. It was great, man. It was great. I got to say it again. I gotta say it again too. It was great. And yeah, this <laughs> all I can say is I want to say about four, three, four, five times just because I want to. I want to take it all in. I want it, to. This is life for us. This is our world. We got a sneaker show dedicated to sneakers because of this. This movie right here is the reason why we sit here Wednesday nights because of be, just because of everything that happened throughout that movie gives us the opportunity to. To, to make money on sneakers, okay. it's the opportunity to love on sneakers the way we do, has to put them on and look fly. <laughs> That's why. So, I mean, imagine if we had to wear like Converse's or Adidas forever. Like, <laughs> there would be no uh advancement for Yeezys and none of this. It would be strictly the big, bulky, crazy looking shit. Like, no, <laughs> no. It, 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 Nike just was such so ahead of his time just the design team there that came up with this even to the point where just calling it air jordan right you know what i mean it's happening to the to, to the hip-hop world and getting at the time um by 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 shoot three right. taking it and making it a global a global brand and putting bringing spike lee into it to make it more marketable to you know us here in the inner cities and and and, and the youth and right. you know what i mean just it's just it's just went so far. Look at it, but if you look, go back and now look at Converse. Go back and look at Adidas. They're not doing this. They're not having these type of things. I think the only and just like they said in the movie, Adidas became popular because of Run DMC giving it free press in a song. That's the only reason why people really like Adidas because Run DMC rapped about it and Facts. that made it cool. Facts. Facts. So now I want to ask you, mm-hmm. who was your favorite character? Mama Jordan. <laughs> Mama Jordan. <laughs> With a close second to being Sonny. I loved Matt Damon. I, I, 
I'm a fan of Matt Damon now, and if I, I can't say I've never been. Let's without. let's remind the people that Matt Damon and Ben Affleck are best friends in real life. This is why their whole work, uh, together collab process works because they are best friends in real life. But go ahead. Yeah, Mama Jordan. Just you know why Mama Jordan? Because seeing how it happened, if it wasn't for Mama Jordan saying all this stuff, is the is Jordan really Jordan? Right. Mama Jordan didn't care about Stan said, I'm just gonna let my son do whatever. I don't care about that. Let's let's re let's remember when she said until my son steps into it. A sneaker is just a sneaker until my son puts them on. <laughs> That's iconic. You think <laughs> a sneaker has no life until he puts it on and it gives it life. Facts. So Jordan and Nike grew with each other. Nike needed Michael. Michael gave Nike everything. Mikey, Mike didn't need like. No, oh, can you answer this question for your favorite person, man? <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. Jordans, Jordans have been running the the fucking sneaker world since I was a little kid, so it's not even a question. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> see, we see the impact of Kanye. Just think. Like Kanye right now, he, he went through what he went through with um, Adidas, right? Adidas is nowhere on the level of, of Nike, right? But he went through that. And he lost billions of dollars. He he lost his billionaire status because of that. And they got him back in the fold because they needed him. Right. If Michael Jordan leaves Nike and takes that with him because he owns his likeness, he gets right. a percentage of his likeness, Nike will, Nike will lose way more than adidas right they can't afford to lose michael jordan that's the reason why you see jordan's coming out every week every every whatever and mike gets a cut off of that Thanks. everything Thanks. So, I, I have a no i got a sleeper for you who was my favorite in the movie man yeah here it is man david falk <laughs> michael jordan's agent <laughs> You would say David Falk. Because yeah. <laughs> he was fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, but he, you show up at the house? Yeah, and he was an asshole. <laughs> he was an asshole, but he was real. He was a Jewish, he was a Jewish um, agent who cared about Mike. He really right. cared about Mike. He cared about the whole family. Right. And I loved his candor, his passion. He just didn't give a fuck. But Sonny again was able to fucking laugh at him and just keep laughing and like I don't care what none of you said. I'm going to just use that and go right behind your back. It was great though. It great. great. It was it was put together well, man, from the start to the finish. It, and you know what made it so real? It looked real because it it wasn't it didn't like it wasn't too made up. Like they used old buildings. They used old clothes it was just so believable and you knew what was going to happen next but it kept you on the edge of your seat like Facts. Oh, shit that happened Facts. I was like and, a little and also an, another uh bonus part was we should just get charles barkley and they said charles is, charles is an asshole <laughs> no they eventually signed charles but they weren't going to make charles the marquee uh guy because every, since charles was in college they knew that charles was crazy so yeah, charles, oh and charles got drafted to philly <laughs> and it it's crazy and 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 charles got signed by nike still right he still signed him right later but still signed him, and we love the Barkley sneak. Like the Barkley is an iconic shoe in the sneaker community. Thanks, top five. Right, it ain't a Jordan. Would it be a top five if they didn't have Mike? We we, we wouldn't even know about him. They wouldn't even nah. pop. Nah. 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 It is what like James Harden is to Adidas right now. Trap. Right. right. Yeah, great player, but just in a, in a horrible shoe. Thanks. It was great though, man. Great yeah. movie, man. Great um, movie. if you're into think pieces, like I said before, things of that nature, if you just want to see the story, you know, go out and see it, people. Or it should be on the fire stick soon. You want to see history, right. it, you know, just to be able to see exactly 
how Nike became Nike and how Michael became Michael Jordan, just the brand, not Michael Jordan, the Paul player, but Michael Jordan, the brand. Okay. You'll find a greater appreciation for it, for the hustle. Like you'd be like, damn, that's really, that was real. And his story is gonna make us want to fly.